Welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery and the Toddler Room where we have two litters. Holly has a baby and Hydrangea, who's on the right, has three babies. And here's Petunia. And I brought them down yesterday from the nursery because Poppy is about ready to have her babies so I needed to make room and so I'll tell you who's who um, Holly's baby is a chocolate point uh, and that's with miracle and if you look really close right under Holly's arm is her little boy and then hydrangea who's Holly's covering up right now she, Hydrangea is the absolute sweetest kitten, cat. She's a sweet mom. She's just a sweet girl. Sweet, sweet. She's Miracle's, Miracle's um, sister. Anyway, she has two black and white by colors and then a blue point over there on the right, right by her leg. And Petunia, unfortunately, um, lost a baby in vitro. Um, we had a family here uh, picking up a kitten and Petunia was up on the PlayStation and she jumped down and right after that when I did the ultrasound the baby wasn't moving. So the baby was born, got stuck in the birth canal and I had to pull it out but it was already decomposing and her other baby and these were Leone's first kittens, unfortunately, and Leone now is neutered, but she had a beautiful chocolate tortoiseshell that got stuck in the birth canal, was a, was a perfect kitten, and um, we weren't able to get it out in time, and the baby died of suffocation in the birth canal. So, sorry to tell you the sad story, but because I didn't want to have Petunia feel the loss. I allow, She has been helping Hydrangea for the last 10 days. Hydrangea's babies are 10 days old and so Petunia and Hydrangea have been um, taking care of Hydrangea's litter, nursing them. So she's taken a break today but um, I'm sure she's been in there most of the night helping with Hydrangea. Now as you know, Holly takes over a litter. So yesterday when I went into, I had left the birth um, nursing cage open where Hydrangea and Petunia were in so that they could have a break from the babies. While Holly was in her birthing bed, which I don't, I let it be open, and um, she went and took all of Hydrangea's babies and moved them over to her bed. And that's what I walked into, is Hydrangea all by herself in her nursing bed with no babies. Petunia walking around the, um, the nursery and Holly having all four babies nursing on her. So I, this is, this is Holly's baby's bed and Holly's, for Holly and her baby. That didn't last very long at all. Holly dragged her baby over here last night. <laughs> and so I gave up. Um, Holly is scheduled to be spayed, and so is Petunia. But I've got five more litters coming in the next two weeks, and so I'm going to need these girls to help with the new moms. Um, I have a lot of babies coming. Um, they've got from three to six each. So I need all the help I can get. So um, after, you know, these mothers deliver, um, probably Petunia will help. And then later on, Holly will love it. Holly can help. So we're going to have a huge toddler room with a lots of babies this summer. And uh, we're just starting. Poppy is due at um, 
anytime this coming week and then after that larkspur is due and then we have um, after that we have periwinkle dew and then we have <clears throat> uh, we have delphinium and cosmos do probably near or on the same day and that's mom and daughter so um, there should be a lot of help for the moms this time around and I want to give a shout out to our sweet family um, Jenny Janine who has our only lilac calico she um, sent us by surprise this wonderful PlayStation and I set it up last night it's very fancy and my girls are gonna love it especially when they're trying to keep away from their babies when they're in the weaning process they'll uh, that allow them to jump up on something to keep for a break so anyway um, just wanted to let you know that Holly will be available probably in July or August for adoption and so will Petunia and they've both been great moms Petunia is due for a long she's had a lot of babies Petunia has so she's due for um, a big break but she I didn't want her to feel the loss as great so <clears throat> she gladly helped and I think she will continue to gladly help the moms um, with their new babies. So we'll say goodbye from now from Victorian Gardens Cattery in the toddler room at the Cattery where we have two litters and three mommies and more on the way. Bye for now.